We all know this, guys. Global warming, whatever, blah, blah, blah is coming. Rising sea levels could swamp the U.S. coastline by 2050. You think we're going on the moon in 2025. World's going to be destroyed in 2050. So that basically gives us, you know, from the first moon landing uh, in the modern era, which I will call, you know, the Artemis 2025, gives us, what, 25 years uh, to hopefully get the, the Earth in order? Otherwise, I guess we're just going to live on the moon at that point. I mean, 25 years, is that enough time to uh, possibly live on the moon and have like a whole bunch of stuff? Maybe we'll be on Mars by then. Anyways, sea levels are rising faster than previously thought. What, what I find funny about this, this is like, is that not what they always say? The sea levels are always rising faster than they thought, which means it's just like spiraling out of control. Um, yeah, I mean, NASA found this out, so... Low-lying coastal cities are going to get rocked, as we know. Um, NASA's finding this. Uh, the findings support the higher range scenarios later in February. Uh, the report suggests that significant sea level rise lie to the U.S. coast within the next 30 years. 10 to 14 inches of rise. Isn't that crazy? 14 to 18 on the Gulf Coast and 4 to 8 on the West Coast. Isn't that crazy? That's a lot. Um, so anyways, I guess they did like a whole study. They're, you know... Uh, they built their methods using the earlier multi-agency report. Team of researchers and scientists based on JPL and lab. Yeah. Using satellites to advance understanding of Earth. They obviously know. They must know at this point just truly how screwed we really are. But at the same time, I mean, there's all these naysayers. Hear me out here. There's all these naysayers about climate change, right? And it's always, uh, uh, right? All the time. And yes, it's horrible. And yes, we're destroying the earth. And yes, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's bad. But like for me, I always find that like, you know, eventually it's going to get so bad that we're just going to be like, all right, we're, we're going to fix it now. And it's like, I don't think there's ever a too late moment. I don't think there's a too late moment. I think it's like things will slowly start to get bad. I think as soon as we start to actually feel that process, right? Like, you, you know, that whole that saying, what is it like a a frog in a boiling pot of water like it just it, it, you know you put it in when the water's cold and then you start boiling the water and it never truly feels it how hot it is until it's dead but i don't think that's gonna be us i think it's like there's gonna be that limit where we're like oh my god like this is hot we gotta get out of here so i think you know all this doom and gloom about global warming but i honestly think uh we'll fix it i mean we'll fix it we'll get out there you know i don't know how i don't know where i don't know how but um you know We'll definitely we'll definitely fix it before it gets too wild because at the end of the day it's like you know the earth is like a spaceship flying through space right and we're and we're inside of this spaceship and and yet nobody realizes we're on this spaceship right like we're just you know everyone's doing their own little thing here and there and they're just existing on the spaceship but they don't realize it is a spaceship and so when it's going to get destroyed Right? I mean, it's like if you're on a spaceship and all of a sudden the, uh, you know, the water starts leaking, dripping on your head, you ain't going to keep flying it and just close your eyes. No, you're going to sit there and fix it. So I think it's like once it becomes crazy, you know, hu humanity is amazing, right? Civilization is amazing. Humanity is amazing. We're going to get together. We're going to fix it. I have no doubt in my mind uh, that we'll continue to exist for a long time. And maybe, you know, the whole... I honestly think like going to the moon, going to Mars, like to me that opens people's eyes to just how unfathomable, unfathomably hostile space is as an environment for like creatures like us to live. So once you understand that fact, right? Once you know how hard it is to live in space, I think that gives you an appreciation for uh, the Earth. My opinion, all is well. It's getting bad. We're going to have to obviously correct it. Obviously, it starts with giant corporations, but at the end of the day, it starts with us um, you know, buying their services in advance.